For many families here in the state, they have an extra reason to celebrate today. They're bringing home bundles of joy just in time for Christmas. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live in our newsroom with more on those little stocking stuffers. Susan, there are several babies going home today from Women and Infants Hospital. All of them are going to be wrapped up in big red stockings in honor of their holiday birthdays. Gina and Brian LeMay just welcomed their little bundle of joy into the world. Yeah. It's perfect. It was the yeah. perfect Christmas present. Yeah. His name is Max, and he arrived three weeks early, just in time for Christmas Day. He was a surprise to us, and we didn't know if we were having a boy or a girl, so it's, yeah. we were surprised by a surprise <laughs> on a surprising day. But the little one with a head full of hair kept his family in suspense. His mom was in labor for several hours and finally gave birth early Sunday morning. The whole time, his grandparents were in the hospital lobby waiting for good news. We all laughed and cried and hugged each other in the, the delivery room and uh, it's been amazing for both sides of our family so this little baby is going to be spoiled rotten. <laughs> Max is the couple's first child. Live in the newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.